Listen, everybody, to the words I have to say. Better get ready, because the Lord is coming one day. This is Daniel White the Third with the Second Coming Watch update. This is update number 355. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. First up today, according to the Associated Press, China will join Russia later this week for its largest ever naval drills with a foreign partner, underlining deepening ties between the former Cold War rivals along with Beijing's desire for closer links with regional militaries. China has long been a key customer for Russian military hardware, but only in the last decade have their militaries begun taking part in joint exercises. China's defense ministry said on Tuesday that its navy would send four destroyers, uh, two guided missile frigates, and a support ship for the exercises which start on Friday in the Sea of Japan and run until July the 12th. The second today, according to Israel Today, Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas made an impassioned call to the Arab world to stop what he called an insidious Jewish plot to rebuild the Jewish temple in its historic location on Jerusalem's Temple Mount. In an interview with Saudi Arabia's al Watan daily newspaper, Abbas spoke of dangerous excavations Israel is conducting in the vicinity of the Temple Mount, excavations that constantly bring to light further evidence of the cities and the holy sites rich Jewish history. He insisted that all these actions indicate an evil and dangerous plot to destroy the Al-Aqsa Mosque and build the temple. Palestinian Media Watch, which translated the interview, noted that Abbas's use of the term alleged temple is part of an ongoing and systematic effort by the Palestinian Authority to erase Jewish history and therefore Israeli claims to sovereignty in Jerusalem. Third, today according to the Associated Press, Israeli officials are warily watching the mass protests in neighboring Egypt fearing a collapse of the Islamist government could threaten the historic peace treaty between the two nations. While Israeli leaders have been careful not to take sides in Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi's struggle with protesters, many fear extremist Islamic groups could take advantage of chaos to launch attacks from either Egypt or the Gaza Strip. Prime Minister Netanyahu told an Italian newspaper that for 30 years now we have had an anchor of peace and stability in the Middle East and that was the Egyptian-Israeli peace treaty. We hope that peace will be kept. Fourth today, according to Xinhua News, a powerful and shallow earthquake in Ashay of Indonesia on Tuesday has killed 22 people and injured 218 others uh, and damaged thousands of houses. About 1,500 houses, government office buildings and mosques were damaged by the quake which measured 6.2 on the Richter scale. Several spots of roads were cut 
which hampered transport in the province uh, in the northern tip of Sumatra Island. Police soldiers and volunteers have gone to the affected areas to give aid. Fifth today, according to Reuters, exploiting a loophole in Western sanctions, Iran is importing a high grade of refined alumina ore from several European countries, including Germany and France, that Tehran could be using to make armor parts and missile components. Western measures imposed on Iran over its disputed nuclear program have hit many sectors of its economy, including steel and other metals, where it is heavily dependent on imports. The refined ore has been excluded from European Union sanctions, but tightened U.S. sanctions that came into effect on July 1st seek to close the loophole. Alumina is typically uh, used to make aluminum, but in its high purity or chemical grade form, it has non-metal applications that have sensitive military uses. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5, 4, When the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. Holy Father God, in light of these stories, and based upon your Holy Word, grant us your grace and the power of your Holy Spirit to keep looking up because our redemption draweth nigh. In Jesus Christ, the name we pray, and for his sake, amen. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, may I encourage you to get to know him today. To do so, please understand with me that you are a sinner, and so am I, and that you have broken God's laws at some point in your life. However, in spite of your sins, God still loves you, and he does not want you to be separated from him forever. Romans 5.8 tells us that God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Because Jesus Christ died for your sins, all you have to do is believe in him and receive his free gift of salvation. If you do so, you will not have to suffer eternal punishment in hell, but you will live eternally in heaven with God. Now, dear friend, if you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose again, and you want to invite him into your heart today, please pray with me this simple prayer and mean it from your heart. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some bad things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today. Amen. Dear friend, if you just trusted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, and you prayed that prayer and you meant it from your heart, I declare to you that based upon the Word of God, you are now saved and you are on your way to heaven. Welcome to the family of God. I want to congratulate you on receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. For more information to help you grow in your new faith in Christ, go to gospellightsociety.com and read what to do after you enter through the door. Jesus Christ said in John 10, 9, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pasture. Now in closing, please remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew twenty-four forty-two: Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty-four forty-four says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Now let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator. When he prayed, even so come, Lord Jesus, even so come, Lord Jesus. 
God bless you.